What's poppin' Challenger? Today we are going to the pet store to get some ghost shrimp. It's not just the shrimp, there's a fish. What? And in case you don't know what a ghost shrimp is, they're basically like the best invertebrae for your aquarium for cleaning. I mean, that's kind of like my biased opinion because I really like them and they're super cool. And once we get back from the pet store, I'll be teaching you how to care for them as well as what their benefits are and just showing you them in general because they're pretty awesome. I am gonna be adding them to a secret aquarium, so stay tuned for that, but let's go to the pet store. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They they have my favorite fish. They have my favorite fish there. My dream fish. Wait, what is it? It's a it's a lionfish. It's like a saltwater no fish. No way they do? Yeah, I know. It's like, it's like invasive in Florida, but it is really cool. I gotta look at it. It was pretty. <laughs> All right, so I just picked up the new shrimp and they're in this bag. I only got about 10 of them. The store didn't have that many, but they're all basically hiding in this green leaf. They said they are getting a shipment tomorrow, but I really want to get this out. Um, I'll probably eventually pick some more up, but these guys are so cool. It is going to be a little difficult for me to be able to show these guys in their full detail just because they are ghosts. They're mostly translucent and that's how they get the name ghost shrimp. They also are called glass shrimp, depending on who you ask, but I just call them ghost shrimp. I just can't wait to add these guys in. So let's go over to the secret aquarium I talked about in the last video. Let's go. All right, guys, so here is the uh, secret project I showed you guys in the last video. And as you can see, the light has been working very well. I still need to lift it up a little bit more. But as you can see, these plants have started to grow as well as my lettuce. Because this is my aquaponics setup that I talked about. Uh, I'll probably talk more about that also in this video. But enough showing off all my cool things. Let's add this in. So I guess right now, I'll just have some footage of these guys. And I'll just kind of explain how... Oh, what? Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. There's a fish in here. There's a fish in there. It's not just the shrimp, there's a fish. Do you guys see that little fish? Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? Wait, what? I think the, the pet store guy accidentally caught caught a fish. I swear this is not planned or staged or anything. Like, look, this is this is tied off and then on this side, it says, it, that's the 10, and then I guess that's the skew for shrimp. But there's a little fish, it's a baby. I don't even know what type of fish that is. I just looked in here, do you guys see that? All right, I guess I got a free fish. Yeah! The only bad thing is I don't know what type of fish it is. So I don't know what like if I can actually even keep it. I can always give it back to the pet store, but it, since it's a baby, I could keep it in here for a little bit and let it grow up and then maybe maybe add it to another aquarium later. I'm just I'm perplexed right now. I I don't I, that has never happened to me. I didn't I didn't even think fish were in that aquarium that I showed you guys at the pet store, the the shrimp tank. Huh. I guess we'll just keep talking about ghost shrimp. Okay, so what I'm doing currently is an acclimation and a lot of the long-term viewers or fish keepers know what I'm doing. So whenever you get your fish from the fish store or online or wherever you get them. Maybe you steal them from your friend's aquarium. I don't I don't really know. I've definitely done that and I've had that happen to me before too. But basically they just need to adjust to the temperature and also usually the water parameters, but ghost shrimp are pretty hardy and they are pretty resilient to changes. But I'm still gonna let them do a little bit of a temperature acclimation before I add these guys in. What really inspired me to get these shrimp for this little setup is the fact that I got a lot of comments suggesting it. So that's why we have them. All right, so I'm just gonna have footage of ghost shrimp uh, overlaid and maybe the fish if it's in this in the shots. So ghost shrimp are some of the cheapest aquarium shrimp that you can get just because they breed so fast. They can have like hundreds of babies and it's incredible. And that's why a lot of people actually use them for feeders. So they give it to like bigger fish that require live food. I don't really like doing that, but I don't really keep any big fish that require it. I usually just feed my fish flake food. I don't really have to feed them live, live, live pets. They also do help clean up some algae. They're not like the best algae cleaners compared to like snails or plecos, but they do help clean up a little bit. They also help clear up detritus and other waste. So it can be helpful for your aquarium. They can also eat dying plant matter, which is good for helping clean up the aquarium even better. They are completely freshwater, but you can keep them in brackish aquariums. I've heard some people say that you can't breed them in freshwater, but from what I've read online, I've seen that you can breed them and the eggs will hatch in freshwater. I don't have experience with that, but I've had these ghost shrimp in the past. But I guess one thing that I should also mention that is pretty important is the fact that ghost shrimp don't last that long. Their lifespan's only about a year and then they'll eventually pass away. So their lifespan kind of varies. When you're keeping them, a lot of people recommend making sure that you have a lot of hiding spots and that can encourage growth and breeding because they'll have more hiding spots to uh, scavenge and, and hide from predators like other fish in your aquarium. I've noticed that the females tend to be fairly larger than the males and that the females you can actually see when they have egg clutches, they actually fan them underneath. That's happened to me in the past, but I've never actually had successful babies. So maybe that'll change. And unfortunately, I don't really know the fish. It's a baby fish, so it's a fry. It doesn't really have any color on it. Um, it doesn't look like a guppy. It may, it may I don't know. It's like right there, maybe it was just the feeder 
bigger fish in that aquarium? I really don't know, but I'm surprised that they, they just threw it in there. It must have gotten caught in the net. That's insane. So now I need to like add flake food to this aquarium. I do have a bunch of snails in here. So you guys know I have to add some wafers to help and my snails eat that. But now I'll actually have to bring some flake food over for this fish. It'd be really cool. I want to make sure and see if I can maybe add it to my 90 gallon or just one of my smaller tanks with guppies. If you guys can recognize the fish, I'll show some more shots of it later or on screen. If you guys can recognize that, please let me know. That has never happened to me before. So I'm gonna let my shrimp, uh, shrimp and fish acclimate. I'll come back in about 10 minutes and then we'll add them in. All right, so we're about ready to add the shrimp in, but before we do that, you need to hit the like button. Please, the YouTube algorithm hates me. They stopped sharing my videos to unsubscribe people. It's literally sharing all my new videos only to the same amount of people. So if you see my face on any thumbnail, please click it. The computers will eventually like me again, but until then, please just hit the like button. Also, comment a name for this fish. I was thinking maybe we should name the fish and watch it grow up like the mistake fish that eventually became my best fish. That would be dope. And one thing with this uh, unboxing, or I guess adding to this aquarium, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So anytime Time I get fish from the fish store, I never like to add the store water that's inside the bag because it could have bacteria or other nasty stuff and it could also just be filled with nitrates or nitrites, which is bad and can cause ammonia spike, which is like really bad for aquariums and an ecosystem. But unfortunately, ghost shrimp are notorious for being really like jumpers. So if you ever use a net and you take the shrimp out of the water, they can actually like spring up and they can go far, like a lot farther than any of the Neocardinia species or any other shrimp species that I've dealt with. So you really want to be careful when you're dealing with them. So to avoid all of that today. I'm just gonna open up the bag and pour them all in and let the water come in. I mean, there's no other fish in here, so it really doesn't matter. And this isn't my only snail colony and only plant colony that I have available. So I guess for the next couple weeks, I won't be taking anything out of this aquarium or these, these two setups. All right, I'm gonna cut open the bag and pour these guys in. I'm gonna try getting some cool shots for you guys just because I really wanna show them off. And when you get a good angle, you can see their insides and you can see like basically the food they ate, which is cool. All right, let's open this boy up. How am, how am I gonna do that? Oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> I gotta put the camera down, but I'll be back in a sec. All right, Challenger, I'm gonna try my best to do this, but sometimes the shrimp can get stuck in the bag. Um, so if that happens, I'll have to put the camera down really quick. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, please, I wanna make sure the fish gets out too. Okay, Whoa. oh, there they go. Okay, is there any in the bag? Oh, there's one in the bag. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, no, there's like two or three in the bag. You guys see them? Okay, yeah, this is, this is rough, but I mean, they should be okay. Okay, double check, double check. I do not see any in the bag. Oh my gosh, oh, my heart rate was so fast. There's a really, really big one right there. I don't know if you guys can see right there. That is huge. All right, so all the shrimp are in there. I'm trying to look for the fish. Like, where is this guy? Oh, there you are. Oh, this is gonna be hard to get angles because like the light is so bright. Let me see, oh, that's, that's, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> like the one thing with like using these storage containers instead of using glass aquariums is the fact that like you can't see through the side, which doesn't really matter. I got the short ones on purpose so I could see from above. Um, but let me try getting some angles. It'll probably take me like a couple hours to get all the B-roll for this video. Okay, because I love you guys, I'm actually gonna be like catching some of these guys and putting them into a small container to get B-roll. I'll probably have that footage played earlier in this video. I took all that. So please hit the like button for that. I keep asking, but like it really helps. Also follow me on Instagram because I usually share whenever I post a new video. So you'll be able to like know before everyone else. And I also post some behind the scenes there. All right, so now I gotta get a net and other things, but uh, hopefully this works. All right, so I'm just gonna use this to pour some water in. Hopefully like we can like see through that, right? I'm so nervous to catch these guys because like I said, they jump so high. Oh, there's the fish. Oh, I have the fish, I have the fish. I got the fish. I'm gonna release the fish, but I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. It looks like it has some lines. Um, I don't really know. Guppies don't develop that. Um, I don't think it's like a, but it's like a, a big stripe through the side. If anyone can help narrow this down, um, I'll, I'll be showing it off in a couple more videos. Oh, I finally did it, Challenger. I finally caught a shrimp. There is one in here. I ended up having to get this big green net, put it in the corner, then use the other one to try pushing the shrimp into this one. But yeah, I eventually got him and I'm about to take photos and videos of him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so tired, like, oh, time has flown by. Like, if you can see the window, it's already nighttime. Oh my gosh. I love you guys so much. Take it easy, fam. Check out my Instagram down below and also check out wildpetsupply.com. You can get some snails or aquarium filters like these or a heater. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace. Why were you so difficult to catch? Oh. Oh my gosh.